Alright, so I'm hoping to make a few videos of my shock rebuild. Um, they may not be the greatest because I can't pause my camera, but... So, got my shock back from the shop. Everything's nice and clean. I'm going to open up the box for you. This is just my uh, machine shop that I can go to and get anything I need done for free. Because I'm awesome. So, got a few things here. Got my shock. Uh, the body, you know, everything, like I said, is nice and clean. I got my shaft all done up. The threads were cleaned up. You can see they're a little bit bad, but they're cleaned up. Nice and shiny. Everything's nice and clean. Put that down around here, too. Take this out, and we got all the major parts to put this thing together. So, I guess the first video will be assembling the head seal and getting that ready. And then I'll make the, another video of uh, me getting everything else back together. So, got a whole bunch of goodies in here. I'm going to be doing another video. It's like a clutch basket. I'm going to be installing this new Henson clutch basket on the 93. Um, and got a shock head seal for uh, the 93 too. I'm going to be doing the 93 shock in there. But let's get this started. Let me kind of position the camera. So you can see me build up the head seal. I'm going to try and get a good angle. Hopefully, this is a good enough angle. I have no clue. Let me see. Sorry guys, you know, this is like my first time trying to record by myself. Normally I have help. Okay, that should be good enough right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see. Yeah. So, get my box. So I'm going to assemble the head seal. Um, going to need the top out washer thing. Uh, a little spacer that comes with. There is a spring in here. And inside this bag, I have new shock seals from Race Tech. Shock oil and dust seal. Hoping to make each video about 10 minutes long. And uh, that's about it for the shock head seal. So, to put this together, um, first step I'm going to do is put the dust seal on. So, this is a dust seal from Race Tech. And it goes on right like this. And what I like to do to bang that on good is to get a socket that fits right over this. You get one bigger. It likes to fit right over that. And then take a hammer and uh, gently tap that seal on nice and even. I'm just going to kind of check that and look that it's bottomed out all the way on, and it is. So that's all done. I'm just going to kind of check my camera again. See how good you can see this. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Next part is to get the actual oil seal in. And the way this one goes in is it's two-part seal. So you got the rubber part and you got this gray part. And the gray part goes face down into here. So... I'm just going to kind of assemble that, like so. I'm going to try and shove that in all in one piece. Get it to all fit. In there. And it's in. That's all in right. And the next step is there's this washer that goes on. I'm going to feel for the smooth side, but the smooth side towards the seal in there like that. It fits right in there. Then this spring goes in, like so. Then this little collar, this aluminum collar, goes over there. I guess got to go in nice and even. Got to lift that out. I'll try that again, actually. It went in crooked. So just kind of all, you know, gently get that all in. 
Get that washer to seat in there. Yeah, there we go. Get this back in. And that dropped in. And then we have our top out bumper, and this just kind of squeezes in. And the camera's not going to pick this up, but it just goes kind of into that, into the recess of the uh, head here, like that. And this is a rebuilt stock head. And I'm just going to show you the one from the 93. Um, it's a lot smaller, but uh, because the shock shaft is a bit smaller as well. But it's kind of the same concept, but I guess the 93s doesn't have a spring for it. But the same concept, the top out bumper and you know the dust seal on the end and all that. Let me get this out of the way. And five minute video, not not too bad. Um, Actually, I think I'm going to cut it here on the head seal being assembled now um, and just start assembling it all in the shock shaft because I'll get a better camera angle. But um, just the basic of how I, just the recap is, um, got this on and used my, this is a 13 sixteenths and it fits right over that seal nicely to bang this on with a hammer nice and evenly. Then, you know, like I said, I showed you guys how to put all this together, and this is nice on there. And that seals in the right way and everything. Before, when I rebuilt this the first time, my shock was leaking because I put that inner oil seal in the wrong way. But uh, a call to Race Tech confirmed that it was in the wrong way, and they told me that it goes in with the gray part down. But next video is going to be of me assembling the whole shaft here in the vise. So stay tuned. It's part two.